What's going on guys, Roscoe here, back with another video. So, as you can tell, today is going to be a vlog style video. And what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to put together a fit under $100 to style the Yeezy 500 Salts right here. A lot of you guys picked this shoe up over the weekend, so I wanna show you how you can style it for under $100. And, and a lot of you guys have been asking me, hey Roscoe, you need to do some more styling videos, so I figured, hey, I'll drop another one on the channel. So first place we're gonna actually hit up, we're gonna hit up a vintage clothing store. Uh, it's, it's like a hidden gem. I love to start off vintage, because vintage you can always get pieces so cheap, so cheap, and I think a lot of you guys missed that opportunity. Um, there's actually a place down in New Bedford, Mass. Uh, it's called like Circa Vintage Wear. Super, super dope store. The guy that runs it, he's mad cool, mad chill. He sells to like some of the top designers uh, like in the industry, so pretty cool good dude. Uh, it's a hidden, like I said, it's a hidden gem, and it was actually rated like top 10 best vintage stores by GQ Magazine, so we're gonna hit that place up first. Hopefully we find a few pieces. If not, we're gonna go ahead to the mall after and fill in the rest of the outfit. So. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, smash that like button for me, just so I know I need that feedback if you guys want to see more vlogs. Uh, but I'm ready, I know you're ready. <laughs> Let's start this journey. Yeah, can I just get a uh, medium hazelnut iced coffee regular, please? Medium iced hazelnut regular? Yeah. Anything else? Nah, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> All right, so. Of course, it's raining out, which absolutely sucks, but we got a little bit of a walk. Parking in the um, city is always a pain, so we're gonna go walk up there. It's a hidden gem, man, I'm telling you, so let's, let's make this journey in the rain real quick. place has some good stuff I haven't been here in a couple months and uh, usually they have they usually have tons of stuff a lot of people from costumes that are big into theater come here um, like I said it's one of the best vintage um, clothing stores in Massachusetts and this was not me saying that it was GQ magazine that made a list and put them on the top 10 so dude super dope uh, it's wicked hidden though I'll show you real quick hold on it's in this building right here it's in this building right here and it's like there's no signs there's nothing so if you don't know like you wouldn't know where to find this because even on Google Maps like if you try to find it you just can't so it's like impossible but here it is right here it's this yellow building this one right here no signs nothing so we're here right now at Circa Vintage Wear um, I'm gonna put the camera away so I don't get this guy pissed off, so I don't know what he's gonna say. But, yeah, so let's see. I'll show you the place. Hopefully, this guy lets me film. Hey, he's told me come back with a better intro. I'm still digging. I don't know if I want to go. If I want to go jacket, hoodie. Um, decisions. I did see this though, but it's not really vintage esque. It's just this black. You know, just a black Levi's jean jacket, which is pretty dope. They're asking for about 48 bucks, which is not too bad. But. I don't know. Not too bad. Definitely a good find, but it's not really vintage esque compared to like everything else that's here. You know, like that's that's insane. I would not wear that. That's too much. 
craziest. If it was faded like that, like this one's not bad. But I don't like that bottom. That bottom looks horrible. Huh. So. I am still digging. So, hold on. But what they do have that I'm not really looking for is that they have pretty cool coats. Like these big, huge coats. These with the fur. Like if you want to be looking like Bane and Batman. Dude, they have these coats, like tons of them. They got some, and tons of this, you know, with the fur on the neck. Uh, the tons of corduroy. You have tons of corduroy stuff. And then a bunch of military. These are all military, straight from, like, yeah, Bedford Police. A lot of local stuff here. A lot of local stuff. And the jeans are absolutely everywhere. Jeans are always tough. I'm not going to be get, getting any pants because it's going to be impossible because the fit back in the day is different from what the fits are now. So trying to find something like, you know, 32, 34, but I have I've no idea what 550 is, you know, like 505, 36, 33. They have like tons of weird sizes and I'd be here all day looking for pants. But yeah, if you want a trench coat, go trench coat. Tons of these old vintage trench coats. Like, yeah. Yeah, look at that nice silk inside. Look at that nice silk inside. Really nice. The t-shirts kind of disappointing. The t-shirts they don't really have any cool, cool vintage tees. You know, so I might have to pass on the vintage tees. And plus, I'm looking for like more of a, you know, winter fit. So I was feeling that some work wear. And then they have like more jackets, man. Leather coats. Every leather coat. More. I don't know what this is. That's weird. Look at this, what the hell is this? Biker, a lot of biker jackets. And then more varsity jackets. And then this thing is nuts, what is this? Jesus. It's like calfskin. I don't know, what the hell? Insane. Insane. So try. Yeah, more. And then more pants. Pants, pants, pants. A lot of corduroy, corduroy, corduroy. Tell anytime you go to a vintage place, always gonna have tons of corduroy stuff. When you go to a vintage place, always corduroy. Corduroy is like everywhere. But then you got ties. I mean, this place is massive. They also have flannels. Should I go flannels? I don't know though. Because some of these colors are kind of crazy. Like that, like Christmas, screams Christmas. And then you have these, which is not too bad. I mean, I don't know. Like, this is not a bad color. I don't mind this color, but it's not gonna fit. That's ugly. That's, I don't know about that one. That one's kinda ugly. I don't like that brown. No, you can just go like this, it's a nice silk shirt. <laughs> or I can just go army. Hmm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. <laughs> like, go wear this, go to the club. Go to the club. So, still digging, still looking for something right now. But I do have one piece, so just wait, just wait. All right, quick update. I'm still looking for something. There's just tons of stuff here, uh, tons of stuff. It's better lighting. And I don't know if I should be, I don't know, there's some stuff I did see, but it's too predictable. I want to mix it up, give you guys something different, give you guys a different look. Uh, might go some workwear because I've been kind of feeling a lot of workwear stuff lately. So I saw a couple pieces. I might go that route. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Because look, dude, there's so much. Here, I'll give you guys just a glimpse. This is just, there's buckets, buckets, buckets. Some of this stuff is girls. They have like mannequins up here. They have like concerts here too, supposedly, the guy said. They have like rock concerts, but yeah. So there's just some stuff with like Koala Deville. If you want to be here, they got a jacket for you. They have jackets and mannequins, these creepy ass mannequins. Look at that. Some creepy shit. You get some weird fur hats. And then today's fit uh, I have Mafia Season hoodie. I have the Lost Hills hat. I got some black jeans. And then I have my neighborhood kicks that I'm absolutely loving. These are fire. So we're just digging right now. Absolutely digging through this massive massive warehouse type deal so still searching guys I'm still searching all right so I think I'm gonna go with this jacket and I'm gonna try to find something to pair with it again this kind of has that Yeezy-esque look to it 
the workwear. Um, there's actually a piece that's very similar to this, I think, but obviously it's probably way better quality. Um, but I'm gonna go with that, and I tried on this one. This one's like a 5XL. <laughs> so, fortunately, I would like a double XL on this, but this is all they have. So, I think I'm gonna go with this one, and then I'm gonna try to find something to pair with it. Alright, so I just left. I picked something up. Picked up a couple pieces, so what we'll do is we'll go back to the crib. I'll show you what I got. Throw the fit on, throw the 500s on, and you guys can let me know if it was trash or, or not. And I'm just showing you, I paid like what? Less than 100 bucks. Less than 100 bucks for this fit, so let me know again down in the comments if it was good, if not. And also, if you like these videos, smash that like button so I know I'll definitely be doing some more vlogs like this. So I can definitely buy actually a wide angle lens because, yeah. So again, I'll see you guys back at the crib. All right guys, so I'm back in the lab. I finally got the whole fit put together and I think it's fire. I think it's fire. So let's just do a little recap for you guys right now. So the whole purpose of this video was to put together a affordable under $100 fit for the Yeezy 500 salts, you know, the shoe that everyone hated on in my last video, which I absolutely think this shoe is fire. So let's just go through the fit. So the main piece that I picked up was over at the vintage store, and it was this 1960s, this 1960s workwear jacket. Absolutely love this piece. I think it's so sick. It immediately caught my eye. It kind of has that Yeezy Season 6 vibes to it, which I absolutely love, and it just smells vintage, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, but it had, it's the color is super unique. It's like that bluish green, which, again, works well with the 500s. Um, but I thought, hey, this is definitely a statement piece. I've been on this workwear trend lately. Absolutely love it. So it fits oversized. I do wish it, it was an XL. This is a large, but it's a vintage clothing store, so what they have is what they have. Uh, but it's from the 1960s, which I thought was pretty cool, you know? So this is the main piece right here. This is going to be like the, you know, the main layering piece. So we're going to start here, and then what I did... Um, I couldn't find anything else at the vintage store. I tried on some pants. The pants never fit. It's always tough for me. Uh, I was going to try, like, I was like, you know, I was looking for more cargos. I wanted cargos because I'm sticking in that workwear trend. Um, so I thought cargos would work very well. So what I did was I had to go over to H&M um, at the mall. And I ended up picking up these, you know, these cargo pants for like 24 bucks. I want to say. Yeah, $24.99. Uh, so I picked up these cargos. Absolutely love these ones. These are kind of cool. And I wanted to stay, you know, I wanted to go dark, go dark with these. So this is like a dark navy blue, um, which looks borderline black, depending on like in the lighting. But this is like, you know, just some regular cargos, stay with the workwear trend. And what I wanted to do too as well, which, like, which I absolutely love that these pants have, is that they have, instead of cuffing them, they have like the lace locks, so with the, like the laces, where you can pull it, and then it goes right around your ankle so you can show the kicks got to show the kicks you know that's the whole purpose of this video showing off the 500s so I going to have these with pants and then what I did too for layering my you know the jacket um, I'm also going to do a zip up olive hoodie now this again was over at H&M for $15.99 um, a lot of people go like pullovers which is great I love pullovers as well I got one on but I wanted to show off a t-shirt so I went with the zip up, absolutely love the zip up. So it's, zip ups are always great for layering. So again, with the olive zip up, simple, some, some, super simple, right? Simple, so I have the jacket, the olive hoodie, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw on a neon t-shirt. Now I didn't pick up a neon t-shirt because I already have one, so I didn't wanna go buy another one. Uh, so that's what I do. So if you guys want, go, you know, you can get neon tees every, anywhere for mad cheap for like 10 bucks or even less at you know, your local store, your local mall. Super easy to find, so I have one. I actually have one on, so what I'll do is I'll put the fit together. You guys let me know how this whole fit looks. Rate it, rate my fit, let me know how I did. The cost of everything was under 100 bucks. You're looking at like, what? The jacket was 40 bucks, pants was like 25, this was like 15. So again, put the fit together under 100 bucks. To show you how you can style it, very cheap. You don't have to buy all those fancy clothes. 
or anything designer brand to, you know, put a fire fit together. So, guys, that's my video today. If you guys enjoy these vlogs types, uh, vids, please let me know by smashing that like button for me. And also, rate the fit. I'm going to put my fit together uh, so you guys can see the whole, you know, whole fit together, as I can say. Uh, but, guys, rate it. Rate it. Let me know how I did. So, guys, that's the end of my video. If you guys enjoyed it, please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. And like always, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Hey, hey, he's told me come back with a better intro.